Hey, what's going on today, people? We are actually working on a 2010 uh, Jeep Sport. And what we're doing today is we are doing the spark plugs. Okay, so the one thing, we're, we're not really doing the spark plugs, we're doing a spark plug. Okay, and the video is not really about the spark plugs, but what it's about is if you have a seized uh, spark plug and what you can do to, you know, keep that spark plug from being, uh, to get it out without breaking it or anything. So let's get started on this Jeep. Okay, so what we're doing today is we're taking out that number six spark plug, okay? And taking that out, all we need is a five eighths, um, two extensions and our ratchet. And we're using, you know, auto light. It's uh, the original plug that goes in it. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to take this boot off. Okay, once we get that taken off, spark plugs right there. So, okay, so we want to take this, stick it right on there. And then, if you get that on there, and I mean, I got a, a pretty good bit of strength, but one thing we do not want to use is a breaker bar. Because you put too much strength on that, you will, um, you know, break that off in that block. And then you're looking for a world of troubles. You probably, you know, have to, it'll still run. You probably still get it somewhere. But it'll tick because it's just, it's a pain in the butt. It depends on how far, you know, you got to go to actually get it somewhere and get it, you know, fixed. Uh, you might actually have to have it towed. I, I don't know. I didn't have that problem. Thank goodness. But um, yeah, so if it gets on there real tight, just go ahead and take all of this. Ooh, take all this back off. And then what you want to do is you want to go inside of the vehicle. You want to turn your truck on, or this goes for car, truck, anything that's seized up in there. You want to turn it on for about five minutes. You know, get it, get it good and warm. Um, you, get, you need to get that plug hot. So what it does is when it gets hot, it, uh, it swells, okay? And then once it swells, you wanna turn it off, about, you know, about five minutes, you wanna turn it off, and then you wanna let it sit about three or four or five minutes, and then it'll come straight out. And that's what we're fixing to do now. Okay. We've let it sit, you know, as far as cranking it up for five minutes, uh, letting it cool off for five minutes, and now put a little, uh, put a little pressure on it, and, and there it is. Yeah, it, it comes. I mean, I don't have a lot of room to work with, but it, it actually is coming out, so... We just have to work with it a little bit. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and take this the rest of the way out. Okay, so we got this spark plug out and the problem with it was it's cracked. Okay, so we definitely, there it is, there's that big crack. So we definitely don't, you know, we know we did, you know, have a problem there. So now let's, uh, which it wasn't worn too bad, not worn bad at all, but that crack is the problem. So we need to put the other one back in and we will be done. Okay, so get that other one back in there and you know, tighten. Get it in there good enough. 
and tighten it up. Where's my boot? Okay, grab the boot. Oh, put the boot. Get it on there pretty good. And then once we get it on there pretty good, we are done. And on my next video, we're gonna come back here, take out this seat, and fold it up like that. So you can get the big baby inside of it. All right.